Hello and welcome to the AFL Auto Blend 3D Car Creation Channel. This is a, uh, a new project announcement. Um, I'm going to start making modelling this um, this van on the screen. It's a, uh, a 1960 to 1976 FC van. Um, it was produced. Um, it was a commercial vehicle. Um, produced by Comma from 1960 to 76. Um, for any American friends, you'll probably think it's a Dodge. Well, Dodge or Chrysler took took over the name when Comma was um, um, when ceased to exist. So this is the van that um, I'll be doing, um, and we'll be sort of modelling the body, the um, or should I say the all the exterior, um, the interior and the chassis. So look out for this. It will be um, in the next couple of days. Okay, I've got uh, loads of good images. So if you are following along and want to model it, um, I'm only too willing to email the information that I'm going to show you here. So there's various um, iterations of this, and um, perhaps after we've done the base model, we can do some of the um, uh, some of the other some of the other versions i.e. there's a canopy pickup a standard pickup and a and a drop cider not to do with them so got all these cool all these cool images um, if we go back this way so details on the doors the grills the the rubbers for the windows interior or the van exterior, should I, interior, should I say, the um, corrugated floors and the and the side panels, etc. Um, good views on on what we need to 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 model this. Um, some of these are a bit beat up now. You don't see many of them about. Um, the reason why I'm doing it is my, my father had had one in the 1960s. He had a, um, a painting and decorating business, and um, I remember this from when I was a small child. Um, so it'll be in his honour, really. The other versions are they were used as camper vans. Um, so there's loads of cool images here. There's a camper van there. Um, so these are the blueprints that I was lucky enough to get. Um, it looks like somebody's actually modelled this. And I found these cool, um, these cool um, blueprints. Or we use them as blueprint blueprints. So look very good. Um, I've got all the bits and pieces. As I say, if you want to, um, if you want to follow along and, and model this one, please feel free to message me in the comments or in. There's my email addresses in the bio, and I'll kindly send you the um, the um, all the images that I've got so there's a, there's um, good ones of the the chassis etc I mean we, we don't want it um, to be absolutely perfect just enough to see um, to make it look reasonably realistic um, I won't be doing the engine as such um, not not in this um, phase anyway um, there's some good interior dash images um, there's another that's a brilliant one so it gives us an indication of what we need to do internally. Um, so the cab is basically sorted in those two images. Um, and we can use these images for future reference if we decide to do, or if you decide to do a, um, a, a camper van from it. Um, but all these images and a and few words I've managed to get off the net and um, I will certainly be using these. I mean, there's good blueprints there, but I think I'll use the um, the actual um, modelled blueprints because they'll be totally orthographic. There'll be no um, um, there'll be no issues with the with the blueprints on that. There'll be no distortion or perspective. Um, there could be perspective in these and the other ones are just very detailed 
Um, there's a few little things that I've picked up. Um, I mean, there's different treatments for here. Um, some of the um, comers have got a single light, um, single light there and there. Um, and the shaping's been a bit different with some bars across. Um, but we'll be we'll be doing this one as a basis um, and go from there really. So I think we'll be looking at at, at this. This is be what we'll be looking at. So, kind of excited to get into this one. Um, I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.